Hey guys, welcome to 10.5, section 10.5 on installment plans. We're on April 22nd, Wednesday. This is your lesson. Uh, we're on page 295. So go ahead and take your textbooks out, turn to page 295. Um, we're continuing upon this idea, this concepts of borrowing money. Yesterday we talked about interest. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the percent of interest. Uh, you remember yesterday and many of the problems they gave you the rate of interest. Um, the concept I'm going to give you today, so in addition to your reading, will be how to find the percent of interest. If you look at the bottom of page 295, they give you a formula here uh, to find the approximate interest rate. Percent of interest equals yearly interest paid divided by the average monthly use of the loan. So go ahead and turn over. Let's look at model problem number one. Find the approximate rate of interest Miss Parker paid in model, excuse me, in, let's, I'm jumping way ahead. Looking at model problem number one, page 295, apologize for that. Number one, Sue Parker borrowed $600 from a loan company for 12 months at a 10% rate of interest. How much interest did she pay? How much was each monthly payment? We, of course, follow the formula that we had yesterday, I equals P multiplied by R multiplied by T. Um, 600 uh, is multiplied by 0.10, which is then multiplied by 1 because they're 12 months in a year, which gives us the interest of $60. Um, it's the $60 interest added to the $600 principal gives us the loan to be repaid, which is $660. The monthly payment, we take $660 divided by 12, which gives us a monthly payment of $55. Now, with that information, let's go to model problem number two. To find the average monthly use of the loan, find one half of the amount of the loan. So, one half of $600 is $300. We then take the $300 and we uh, you start find the approximate interest rate. We use the formula. So, $60, which is the interest, over $300, which gives us the percent of interest which is 20%, all right? So what we're finding today is we're not finding the rate of interest that's usually in your problems. What we're finding is, is the percent of interest, how much the interest is a percent of the loan itself, okay? The rate of interest is applied to the loan, but the percent of interest is telling us how much we are paying that is interest. Does that make sense? So looking at your exercises, exercises number one through five are going to follow the question model problem number one. You're simply um, going through the formula like you did yesterday, and then you're going to take, once you have that total loan to be repaid, you're going to divide that by 12 to find your monthly payments, okay? I'll be sure to pay attention to the uh, times given there. Now on numbers six through ten, you're finding the approximate annual rate of interest. Okay, so we're reverse engineering this here. We have the interest charge, all right, we have the loan, we have the time. So we, we have interest, we have the loan and the time. So what we need to do here is we're kind of reverse engineering the formula. All right, this is not model problem number two. Okay, you have the loan, you have the time of year. We're going back to our original formula in the previous lesson. So they've given you I, and they've given you P, and they've given you T. So you need to find R in your formula, I equals PRT. If you have any questions about that, shoot me an email or drop me a message on LMS. And then in numbers 11 through 13, you're going to be following uh, model problem number two. You're finding the approximate annual rate of interest. Uh, today you're doing numbers 1 through 13. Uh, if you have any questions, please shoot me a um, an email. Um, a lot of the answers you will find, you will find in the model problems, but if there's something you don't understand, please feel free to reach out to me.